I'm Kathy Rivers. You're listening to The Home Stretch here on KXCI. And coming up this Saturday, it is the Tucson Youth Poetry Slam All-City Championship. And joining us now in the studio are three young poets. We've got uh, Arceli Montano, Zach Taylor, and Jose Martinez. Thanks for coming in. No problem. Hi. Hi. Arceli, you were here last year. I was. Yeah. And it... So you're still part of the program. And, and tell us a little bit about the program. So the, the Tucson Youth Poetry Slam is an event that is held under our mother organization, Spoken Futures Incorporated, and it is basically a month, uh, something that happens every third Saturday of each month where poets compete and read their poetry at Bentley's House of Coffee and Tea every third Saturday, and it's a fun time. Awesome. And uh, Zach, what do you love about the program? What I love about the program is that we're able to take students from their each different schools all around South Tucson and South Arizona, and they're able to come to one space, share their stories, share their community, and uh, really grow and learn from each other. And so what what will happen this Saturday? Tell us a little bit about the event and what time it's at. Yeah, so this Saturday is our fourth annual um, Tucson Youth Poetry Slam, and it is the largest spoken word contest of its kind in Tucson. Um, it's happening this Saturday, April 26th, and it starts at 1.30 to 4 p.m. It's a free event, and it'll be at the Gallagher Theater in the University of Arizona Student Union. And information can be found at TucsonYouthPoetrySlam.org. So we're going to hear some poems from you? Yes. Who would like to go first? Um, I guess I'll go first. You were just voted. Everyone <laughs> looked at Jose like, yeah, this, you're going first. Okay, well, we'd love to hear a poem from you. All right. I was walking down the street, pipe in my hand, needle in my pocket. Everything was all good until I ran into my mom. Then she started with the, what are you doing with your life? Do you have a job? Do you have a place to stay? Do you have a family? Where have you been? To which I replied, hello. Oh, hi, mighty son, would you like to play? Would you like to shine your divine light on my shrine? It's been a long time, a long, long time time. How are you? Where were you? All those hours in your absence, brave men, have become cowards. Capes have lost their powers. Darkness has showered. Your mighty kingdom has become the contents of a bottle of rum. Now where were you all of those hours? I searched high and low, near and far. The wind would blow through my hair. Now when you were here, not a care that I have in this world, whether it's swirled, world, or twirled, not tell me. Where the hell were you? When demons lash my skin like the sins of a person does a reputation, like a parasitical parasite and attack the parasitism, parasitic parasites, black, purple, or blue, parasitic parasites feeding on my wrist, parasitic parasites injecting their venom or listening to my ba boom, ba boom, parasites, parasites, parasites. Now, is this what you saw for me? When you cradled me in your arms, when you said, me, beautiful and mine, I will never let anything harm you. You did not keep your promises. Now I sit here wondering, no oh, dear mother of mine, grace one divine, let my wrist bleed, for I am only the cursed seed of a hopeless fantasy of money, power, and everything I could have been. See me as a hero, because that is what I am. Am I hallucinogen of heroic sin? Am I heroin? Where the hell have you been? Don't you dare to lie to me, because I'm all the YouTube to the stands. I don't play with sharp objects, the boogie mans, the creatures under my bed have all become my friends. This high will last so long. Mama, I'm sorry, but do you know where I have been? Wow. Very nice. Thank you so much. Very intense. <laughs> yeah, so really quick, I want to add that um, Jose is actually a competing poet in our uh, championships this year, and I'll be hosting um, along with Zach here, so we'll be co-hosting the event together, which is going to be cool, because this is going to be the first year that is youth, it is youth-hosted. Youth wow. So yeah, previous in previous years, it's always been Logan and Sarah, so this year it's finally handed off to us, I guess. That's so, wonderful. Um, yeah, so it's pretty exciting, because <laughs> it's a... I think last year's audience was almost 200 people, wow. and um, this year we have a 300 seat venue, so we're hoping to completely pack it. Yeah, and, and so, so how many people are competing total? Um, there's 15 poets competing, mm -hmm. all between the ages of 14 and 18 years old, um, representing five different schools. And it'll, it'll all be youth? 
Yes. Will we even will Logan even show up? Logan's here now. We won't even get on the mic. I'm like, thanks, man. <laughs> but you guys are doing a great job. Thank you. So thank you so much. Who would like to read their next poem? Um, I believe I will. It's been as long as it's needed to be for me to come to a hard realization. I think about it every day. The way my brother's body lay in sync with the hospital bed and how the beeping machines and tangled wires kept his heart artificially beating. The essence of that waiting room felt more peaceful than the one at the Pima County State Prison, where my mother and I traveled so many times just to see his beautiful face, where the letters I wrote as often as I could flew to. Only eight more years. But time is cut short, and not by decision of a judge. No warning, no explanation, no treatment. And although his life could not be saved, Four others were, with kidneys, lungs, pancreas, liver, and heart, seven pounds of my bloodline given to strangers, and still I questioned why God would take him away, thinking he didn't deserve a second chance. I just didn't understand. Because pain pierced my heart like murder, and tears stung my eyes like lemon juice on wounds, and although clouds fogged up my mind, a light shone through. I could feel sorry, all I wanted to, but if he was still here, I'd be crying with every letter I read, waiting year by year until I could see him in another color besides orange, telling his boys, your dad loves you, and them hardly believing it, seeing my mother be burdened with her baby being accustomed to another home, and knowing my brother would be missing out on what we each had to offer. I discovered the purpose of his life and death, and even when I can't swallow down the knot in my throat, or stop the episodes of ghastly memories of that day, I rejoice, because I can still hear him. With his coarse voice, he sings Tom Petty to me just like when I was four years old. Now I'm free, free falling through clouds made of silk and with stars that combust like firecrackers at the crack of dusk, it's time. Not by grandfather's TikTok, but by our heart's beatbox, we know that the better place is more of a home than the pen. The one that holds convict lives with stories to tell and no ink to do so. Thank you. Mm, also incredible. Thank, Thank you so much for that. About how many poems would you say you guys have written? Yeah, it's hard to count. Um, <laughs> a, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, probably at least a dozen plus or so. How did you discover this passion? Um, I discovered it when I, when my brother had passed away and my English teacher was doing a lesson on sand poetry and Logan actually came into our class to do a presentation and um, at the time I didn't really have a way to grieve so I began writing and then I took that poem to the Tucson Youth Poetry Slam which is at that time in its first year, it was like its third month I think and um, I won and because of that, like, I just continued to go. And four years later, I'm a staff member. That's awesome. Zach, what about you? Well, um, I first got introduced to it from Otiselli, actually. Um, I didn't really have an outlet for art or where to grow and express myself. And she told me to really go and uh, find this poetry club. And I got introduced to Logan. I went to the Slam. And it's such a great time and very community building and everyone wants to hear your story then you're automatically you want to hear someone else's mm -hmm. so i mean once you go to these slams or the championship even you really submit in this community what about you jose um i got started after we had a spark event over at sunnyside high school auditorium and i saw logan perform there and i started looking at their videos on youtube and i figured it was time for me to give it a shot a shot and I saw the spark event in September and I went to my first slam April so I gave it a few months of yeah. thinking about but once I got started I haven't stopped for the last two years that's amazing all right well Zach we'd love to hear your poem as well liberation looks like teenagers mapping their voices in 10 minutes of silence Liberation is being free from the day's struggles and tying them down to paper. I've seen liberation happen. Ink flowing on paper like they're flowing blood from their fingertips. If you're so angry, write a poem. 
If you've ever been cheated out, write a poem. If you've ever been lied to without the courtesy of it being done behind your back, write a poem. Write every gut-wrenching, self-deprecating thought on paper. Perform self-surgery to remove the weight of the world from the bones inside your shoulders by writing a poem. If they never understood what it was like to go to school every day lacking self-worth. If they never understood what it was like to go to school where adults didn't trust you, officers looked down on you, get to class. My only purpose in life was to get to class. Sorry, teacher. I didn't do my homework because being at home was too much work already. Then write a poem. For the broken desk and spirits, crumbling ceilings and facades, holes in the floor and education system, our school forgets to brag about, write a poem to correct every materialistic, tech-savvy, online, suit-and-tie, next-big-thing kind of lie our school tries to feed us. Liberate yourself by writing a poem. For the principal that has no idea what happens in the classroom, liberate him. For the students who don't know what happens with administration, liberate them. Write a poem. Because if you fail, then will anybody notice your silent shouts knocking on deaf ears? Write a love poem about how the school became your four-year-long love affair. Five days a week, even though you had your battles, you won't miss this relationship when it's gone. Liberate your community. Write a poem for the souls of the feet of boys and girls who dance on bro broken bottles. Copper glass shards, exoskeletons of an alcoholic, scattered in the playground like tombstones in a graveyard. Write a poem for the broken bottles your community got used to. Liberate your community. If you've ever been inspired here, write a poem to inspire others to loosen the wrinkles and the joints of their fingers. Crinkle out the cracks in the wrists and get those palms to tell their own stories. Write a poem that will make them raise their arms and shake chains of oppression off the lungs to get them to... Breathe. Liberate them. Write a poem that would make the roots of your ancestry shake their leaves. Liberate your roots, y'all. Liberate yourself. Make them listen. Liberate them. Make yourself listen. Liberate ninth grade wannabes, dropout cliches, teenage mothers, clueless administrators, kids feeling tied down to Tucson, teachers lacking faith in change, boys and girls seeking their forever silence. Liberate those who are forever silent. Liberate yourself. And just write a poem. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Wow. I'm like, I'm kind of losing it over here. Yeah. Just amazing, guys. Thank you. Really. Can you imagine what the championships are going to be? Yeah. 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 Really quick, too. Jose had mentioned that um, he started by watching videos on YouTube. So our YouTube channel, Tucson Need Slam, we almost have a thousand videos. And we're really close to about 40,000 views. Yeah. So that's a really cool place to see what we're all about, but it's even better in person. Awesome. I think it's incredible. This Saturday, again, the Tucson Youth Poetry Slam All-City Championship. And uh, for any adult out there who's ever been like, I'm worried about those kids today, <laughs> man, come on out and uh, see this event, and you will just be just reaffirmed that we have some incredible youth in our community, and it's important to support them. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Thank you for having us. The website is TucsonYouthPoetrySlam.org. Arceli, Zach, Jose, thank you so much. You have made my day. And we'll go back into the music now with our classic pick of the week. Stunning. Really stunning, guys. Thank you.